the Swamp Thing issue 15. Ram V rating with Mike Perkins on the art. And we're, you know, this is the penultimate issue. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're almost done. Uh, Swamp Thing's dealing with the Parliament of Gears, fighting their, their creations, their robots. Um, but during all this, Trinity's shown up to the party here right at the start of the issue. And when yeah. Swamp Thing and Trinity touch, and they kind of like... I mean, or she, at the very least, she sees his past. She sees his yeah. uh, life and, like, the, the the important beats in his life, which is his dying father, mm -hmm. his time with his brother, um, you know, but you know, the whole idea of ideas meeting. Uh, so this is yeah. the green and whatever she is uh, coming together, you know? So so did you read that as when, when they're explaining that he sees Trinity as a representation of the apocalypse? Like, she is the ending right and so when you think about where she was created through the through the atomic testing and all that means is like she is the not temptation she's the the whole idea of, of the end um and it was just this whole super heady thing that i might have thought way too much about um and not that it got in the way of reading this but just trying to figure out how Trinity plays into all of this. Well, I mean, the book progresses from there. Swamp Thing's fighting the, the various creations mm -hmm. um, to try and end the conflict. And he comes across his brother, and he his brother's losing the fight. Like The Green is yep. losing this fight in this war. And obviously Levi's powered by Green Lantern energy right now. And mm -hmm. there's this idea that he's using willpower, like human willpower, instead yeah. of the Green to, like, force, you know, to, or to, to like, you know, propel everything. Yeah. And... He decides that he doesn't want to let his brother die. He doesn't want to be someone who lets his brother who leaves his brother behind. So he goes in and helps him, and he asks for his help. He asks Jacob uh, to give him like access to the green uh, to to go and so he can go talk to the Parliament of Gears, so that he can present them with a choice, so that it's not just this war. Let's try and end this in some other way. That right. it's not just this big fight. Um, and yeah, you know, so sure enough, uh, he kind of like you know connects with them and like all the veins and branches go into his chest and mm -hmm. you know all these great images that Mike Perkins is is doing. Um, so you know he faces his way into this you know into the the Parliament of Gears, and we finally get to hear them kind of talk, right? So we get all these just machines on a wall just saying things behind them. Yeah, with with creepy looking faces yep. too. <laughs> like they just like not not that the parliament of trees wasn't like i mean it was creepy because they're tree faces but like these guys are a whole new level they're they, they're very reminiscent of gremlins to me and maybe that was on purpose because the whole idea of you know you know gremlins in the machinery or whatnot but yeah yeah i don't know if i got gremlins from it but <laughs> yeah. i mean um uh obviously if pale wanderer walks out uh, and starts having the, a debate with, with Swamp Thing. And Swamp Thing says, no, you're not an idea. You 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 represent greed more than anything else. You weren't in the desert. You're uh, this sort of, uh, you know, this, this, He's leech, this parasite. Yeah, this thing that just yeah. feeds off of others. Yep. Um, but yeah, he wants the, the Parliament of Gears to listen. And sort of, you know, and we get this great two-page layout of... Uh, like showing like this war and these alien plant life beings coming down. Like this is what's going to happen if this war keeps going. Like maybe you'll win, but is it worth the cost of what it'll take to win? Uh, right. is kind of the argument. And the pale wonder is like, well, what you going to try and convince them by just tell you know telling them all this? And the end of the issue, he's like, no, they're not going to speak to me. It's not going to be me who convinces them of anything. It's going to be her. And the final page is like Trinity walking in. Um. And it's like, oh, so, like, the, the Parliament of Gears is going to talk to this new idea. You know, whatever Swamp Thing yep. felt when he touched her, uh, like, she's going to try and or convince them. And, right. you know, it, it gets into, like, some of these things, because she, she makes the choice, like, right before they do touch and, like, mm -hmm. share the ideas, she steps in and helps him. And it's this idea that she just did that out of kindness, and that's inspired by the one man who was kind to her when he right. found her put the coat over her even though yeah. it was his demise right it's this kind of idea that with if when you create you also have to destroy they go hand in hand um yeah and that's, she was created through destruction right yeah. and maybe for her so, as well like doing something kind ultimately right? uh like by by ending a war she's almost destroying the need for herself because uh, right. if, if she represents the destruction and the the atomic bomb and right 
uh, you know, mass devastation, uh, the kindest thing she could do is convince everyone not to need her effectively, right. you know? So maybe right. that's kind of something they're And that's where I was here. getting the whole idea of finality, right? Is that she's this, you know, if you don't, her ending is not her ending. So wait, word I'm looking for this, this tripped me up, not in a bad way, but I've been definitely thinking about this issue since I read it last night, <laughs> just trying to piece this whole idea of the ideas and what they represent and how they're working with one another. And when Levi says that what what his dad wanted to show him wasn't, you know, Kazaringa or their home. It was that you he that Levi has to live for himself. And it's and it's not like a selfishness, but it's a you're a part of the bigger picture. And that if you lose that, you kind of lose touch with the rest of the world. And so in doing so and in, in bringing in, you know, he penetrates the, the, the gears, right? He gets the green to wrap themselves around this machinery. And, you know, so they're kind of in a stalemate right now. It's kind of giving them like a timeout in their little war. Um, and it's kind of that lesson from his dad. At least that's how I read it was that, you know, he needs to focus on, on this moment right now in himself um, to, and, and that's when Trinity comes in. Right. Uh, but yeah, no man, Ram V's really good at this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he talks about how the the Parliament of Trees and the Green sometimes is a bit too focused mm -hmm. on preserving itself. Mm -hmm. When, like, no, it will always persist in some way. E even if this planet if eventually dies, there'll be right. another planet that will have green, and it'll, it'll persist right. in other ways. Ideas never really truly die, uh, mm -hmm. and the green won't die. So. Uh, like it, it can't just be about beating the machines because mm -hmm. we have to win. It has to be possibly coexistence. It has to be possibly right. how do we benefit each other? Because you know, be before we brought in the 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 parliament gears and we brought in industry and we brought in whatever mm -hmm. else, you know, we've, we've talked before with Swamp thing about how the green, the red, and the raw all do need to coexist. They all need right. to, you know, there needs to be a, a balance between them, right? Yeah. The, when they're working, it's a cycle, you know. So. Uh, basically, I guess if anything, Trinity is this representation because you know an explosion, and especially mm -hmm. a big explosion, you know, but like an explosion is a chemical reaction of things colliding effectively, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. if the idea is that she represents the warning of of these things clashing and like mm -hmm. you know fighting until there is like some you know figurative explosion, uh, it's you know it's I don't know maybe that is the warning sign. Maybe there's more yeah. here in the last issue we're going to get that I can't quite predict yet, but yeah. Uh, it it also brings me back to that that one off issue where he goes into the bomb that didn't explode mm. that was an atomic bomb too um, yeah yeah and how how this ties to that and and you know but yeah it's the the whole idea of them being in ideas and ideas persist even if they don't if they, even if they don't the the ideas will continue and and then seeing all this and it wasn't just because of the green lantern it's it's I've been wanting a, a, like a new like vision for Green Lantern for a minute. And I feel like Ram V this whole idea of ideas, because just seeing the, you know, the idea of the green existing on an alien planet. Right. I want to see that now. Like, what is that like? You know, so him, him doing a book like that, I think would be super, super cool. Um, yeah. You know, and that's just from a little thread in the Swamp Thing book. Uh, but yeah, no, it's again, really good. Mike Perkins art too. A lot of these layouts when you, when you're seeing him, get into the parliament and you can just kind of follow the roots. Yeah. Cause the it, 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 it kind of like, you know, puts a route through and then he mm -hmm. kind of reforms from the route and the yeah. other side. That's kind of how he gets yeah. in. And it's worth mentioning as well is that towards the end, when he does put all of his veins around all of the machines mm -hmm. and the gears of this impossible machine, mm -hmm. he, he, part of the reason why he does that is because if you're going to take us to this like conclusion where we're all mm -hmm. going to die because you have to fight this war, you're going to like do it having the memory like he's sharing the memory yeah. of the planet with them and saying this is what you're part of this is what you're going to destroy is, yeah. all of this history if you go through with this so um yeah. the idea that the the avatar that is created from the nuclear bomb is going to be used as a warning sign is very poetic yeah. and yeah. The, the idea that she herself wants to be a warning sign potentially and do something kind right again is very poetic and so Oh, I'm mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see how he wraps it up. Uh, it's very yeah. thought provoking this run. I think especially this last five or six issues have all been. Yeah, I'm 
so glad it did well that we got these five or six issues because it's really put the rest of the series, those first ten, in perspective a lot better. Yeah. Well, like you say, that that one-off issue about the bomb that didn't explode, mm-hmm. like that all of a sudden feels a lot more relevant in, like, in hindsight mm-hmm. because it set up some themes. Yeah. That maybe we didn't see coming, so. Mm-hmm. That's good. But yeah. All right, rate the book. Uh, 9.5. I'm gonna go straight nine. I'm gonna go straight nine. Yeah. Uh, but only because it doesn't quite hit the heights of some of the previous two or three issues. That is That's the right. only reason. I, the fact that I woke up thinking about this issue. Yeah. And, and all of this stuff. It's it's very much, you know, this the the ideas are permeating <clears throat> into me now. And yeah. maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what Ram V's going for here. Yeah, and obviously the arts, you know, it's, it's consistent with Perkins. It's just been gorgeous. Uh, that mm-hmm. final page, especially with Trinity showing up and just the light emanating from her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she feels like something genuinely new in the room you know mm-hmm. like uh, you've got Swamp Thing on the left you've got the Pale Wanderer on the right you've got all the gears behind her but all the light coming from her feels genuinely different and new